Hello everyone, welcome to Tech Brick YouTube channel. This is Malika Arjun. I work as a software engineer. So, being a tech enthusiast in this channel, I would love to share my learnings related to tech. So, hoping to learn and grow together. As I said earlier, uh, in my YouTube channel, I will be mainly concentrating on tech related stuffs. So, to start with, initially, I will be like doing like Golang related tech stuffs since it is my go to language in my day to day work. So before we go deep dive into the Golang, let's understand why Golang. So what is the speciality of a Golang compared to other languages? So for example, you might be thinking like uh, there are like Java, Python, those are like running in production successfully. So why Golang? And also why people are like migrating uh, the from like other languages to Golang? Also, like why Google has introduced Golang, even though there are like other languages which are running successfully. So there are like plenty of reasons, uh, but I would pro I would like to provide like few of the major advantages of Golang compared to other languages. So the first point is like a platform independent. So you might be thinking like Java and Python, those are also platform independent. Yes, I completely agree with that. Just that like here, I mean to say the platform independent in different ways. So for example, just say you have a created a Java or Python application and you like uh, Mm, uh, like you want to run the application in windows or mac os or like linux what you will do what you will be doing so you will be installing like java or like python interpreter or compiler in the respective operating system and you will try to run the application but in case of golang so you no need to install the golang interpreter or like a compiler uh, in like operating system or like different operating system so for example just say you have written application and you just need to generate a binary of that application and just passing that binary to other operating system like it might be like a mac or linux or windows and you will be able to successfully run your application without installing a golang so like let me show one example like how we will can how we will be able to create a binary for different operating systems so let's go ahead and check the examples now so just say like we have like a main.go let's check what exactly it contains so if you see here like we have a main function which is printing hello and the value of a variable a that is 10 so okay so let's run this go run main.co and what it gives so it's printing hello 10 fine so now we will uh, generate a by uh, like a binary for this one so go build main.co so this go build main.go is the command to generate a binary so if you see it is providing main dot so if i simply run this binary it should be able to give the same output like before so it is providing hello hunt and so this is working fine so now for example like there are like certain things like we need to consider whenever we are like generating a binary so for example to say like i'm like generating a binary for like windows system so we can provide I mean we can uh, generate a binary like this so for example by providing the goose value as windows and go build main.co this is the command in order to generate a like a binary this is something like a uh, installer for like uh, it acts as a uh, like a in installer for windows operating system so using this you will be able to run the, uh, the run this application like hello 10 you will be able to run this app on like windows operating system similarly you can specify like Hmm. the different like uh, goose values in order to build in order to build a binary for like mac os or linux or other operating system so this is how like we can generate a binary and we can make use of this one and we can run these binaries without installing a golang on other operating system so now let's understand the other like advantages of golang so the second one is concurrency so whenever i talk about concurrency like I like there are like certain things which will come to my mind so one is like a scalability and then again performance and then availability so whenever we are like trying to build any of the application or platform or any of the product so we have to make sure that like scalability I mean whether we will be able to scale our application or like whether what is the performance everything we need to consider so that is where like a, a concurrency comes into the picture so in Golang like uh, it provides a built-in like a concurrency that is something like using go routines so go routines are like helpful to like uh, in order to run the things like or in order to run two process at a time so uh, like uh, i will like 
cover like two and three both the points here so first is go routines and again the threads threads nothing but in case of java or python so i would like to state in such a way that the number of threads running concurrently is directly proportional to the number of cpus available so that is in case of like java or python but in case of like golang like uh, for example we can run like n number of go routines there is no limit for number of go routines uh, we will be able to run so for example uh, i will be able, i can run like lakhs of go routines or crores of go routines as long as we have uh, enough resources so enough resources i mean to say that the cpu memory or disk and then go routines are lightweight so nothing but like uh, go routines are lightweight whereas threads are heavyweight the reason why threads are heavyweight is because they will be running on os kernel all the scheduler everything like initialization of like thread everything will be like uh, again like uh, uh, putting more load on the os kernel but where in case of golang it is not going to like put more load on os kernel rather it, uh, most of the stuffs are run or like will be performed during the run time itself that is the reason go routines are lightweight and then the fourth point we have a memory management so go actually handles the memory very efficiently and also the built in support of garbage collection as well which like makes the memory management very successful so let's see one example how a golang handles the memory management so for example we have this uh, like main dot go right let's check like what exactly it contains so it is having like a var a int which we have declared the variable and also a we have initialized and we are printing like here like fmt dot print line of hello and if we run this program so it should be like give the output like uh, the hello hunt tag so it is working fine let me uh, like let me create a one like unnecessary variable and we will see like how golang behaves so let me edit the same program and so here we have like one i have commented right i will just simply uncomment it and let me save this program and let me run it so if you see like golang like throwing a error during compile time that is something like it says like b declared and not used so here this line i have uncommented so if i simply check this like so if you see here like a i have declared and i have initialized and i am printing so it is used but b i have declared but i have nowhere i am using that is the reason it is giving this error so go is forcefully saying me to remove this unused variable and then only i will be able to compile this program so i mean to say that like go like unnecessary it will not like allow us to create a variable which are like not used in our program so it will so in this case like for a variable b we will not be able to create i mean we will not be end up creating a memory for this variable b but in case of java or python like for example even though if i am creating unnecessary variable like n number of unnecessary variable in my program so but end of the day we will be like again like if you run the program we will be end up creating a memory location for those unused variables as well but in case of go it will enforce us to like uh, remove those undeclared or uh, like remove those declared variables which are not used in our program so that is the beauty of a golang cool guys so far we have learned like why golang why one should choose golang and also we have learned how to write a simple hello world program using golang if you guys have any doubt please comment i would love to answer all of your queries please do like share and subscribe to my youtube channel and also hit a bell icon to never miss an update thank you